So from here, we will switch over back to the business application PTP platform. And then we go to our trial sub account. And that's where we're going to create subscription for our SAP build process automation service. So let's go into the trial. And as we did in the last class for build work zone, we're going to follow the same process. So I'm going to come back. Instances and subscriptions. And there we are going to choose create. And we're going to select here the service and it will be SAP build process automation service we're going to choose. Followed by that, we are going to use subscription there. It's called free subscription we are going to choose. And then we're going to create it. So this is the same process what we followed for SAP build work zone and creating a SAP build process automation subscription. We will also learn later on creating a service instance as well. Like I explained to you in the first episode of introduction to BTP, the difference between subscription and service instance. But right now the service instance is not important and we don't need that. Yeah, I will tell you when we need it. And that time I'll explain you the purpose also. So that's good. And as usual, you will not be able to use this uh, subscription until you assign the permissions to yourself. So as a developer, you yourself need to grant the permission required to work with SAP build process automation. So you have to go to users, click on your user ID and do an assign a role collection like we did for build work zone. So now when you come down, you will see the additional roles which have been added over here. You can see the process automation administrator role which monitor different processes and automations can also configure environments and agents so it's a admin role more like a basis team who would want to just configure the uh, build process automation service yes then the second role is uh, automation delegate this is also second standard role this is an interview question how many standard roles are existing for process automation so one is the admin role, one is delegate role, which is uh, having access to the application, but requires a specific resources, uh, which has been uh, which has been granted. Then the developer role, like you and me, who would want to actually model the business processes and publish them. Yeah. So that's the main role for you to design and model the business process in the process builder. Then we have the process automation participant. You also are the participants like people who would like to act as a uh, the initiator of a business process or as a approver or reviewer of the business process. They are the users actually. And these are the important roles which are standard roles provided by SAP to be granted to yourself to be able to uh, pick, uh, use the SAP build process automation service. So click on assign and the roles are assigned now. Let's head over back to instances and subscriptions and we can launch the SAP build process automation service in just few minutes once it's started. And you can see business uh, build process automation subscription is now ready. It gives me an option to go to application, which is going to launch in a new tab. So there I'm going to cover a quick overview for all of you. So I go inside and then we will see what we got. Yes, there you go. So here is, you can see lobby, which is the main area where you can see all the available projects. Yeah, so you can click on create. So you can build a process. You can build a site with build work zone. You can build a app. So remember three different areas, build apps, build process and build, uh, build uh, zone, work zone, right? So that you can do. And there you have the connectors where you can define actions uh, which are trigger points for uh, any business process events which you are you can uh, subscribe to just like business events for example an employee onboarded on success factor you can also utilize the automation sdk right now there are none of them but we will be seeing them in the future then we have a store where you can find different pre-built content provided by sb look at that so many of them are there Yes, to choose from and you can currently uh, download them yeah you can add them you can import these packages we will see that in the coming classes and then we can configure them according to the need what we have so that way we'll run in a hybrid mode we have monitoring where you can monitor 
right now there's nothing it's a fresh system i've got here so there are no instances there is no there are no jobs there are no events then we have control tower where you can configure the mail servers to trigger emails create destinations configure with cloud alm for reporting your business process reporting like earlier it used to be done in solution manager software but now the acp introduced cloud alm yes and there you can do the reporting then you can configure desktop agents you can look at agent groups agent attributes a lot of this information about desktop agent you can see it yes so this is how you can actually manage and configure all these agents and everything in the control tower so that is the typical setup of sap build process automation subscription to get started with the journey of sap bpa in the coming classes we will start with the process builder where we can go ahead and create the uh, process builder now one important thing before i leave is you need to go to this download page on the agent part yeah this download page and keep this uh, desktop agent downloaded in your laptop so that when we go ahead and in the coming classes we can install the agent yeah so you can see agent documentation so you can just uh, click on uh, download yeah so that is how we have to make sure that we have this agent downloaded in our system and that would require a technical user basically uh, to go to this page and i will also show you work around where can you find the agent so this is uh, where you will be downloading this desktop agent for adding your erp uh, automations that is mandatory now i go to lobby back again and i click on create here and you can see i can choose build process you want to create a process or just a task now what is the process process is basically multiple tasks chained together yes so that's what a process is let's say order to cash so you have inquiry you have a quotation you have sales order you have uh, post goods issue then you have invoicing then you have payment collection right that's a process but if you look at one task like just you know triggering an email triggering a notification that's just one task out of it yeah. so you can either create a task or you can create a process also so once you choose process you have to give a project name so how the scenario would look like is we will always have a project at the higher level so first at the topmost level we will be having a uh, we will be having a uh, project so let me just draw it for you so we will have basically a starting point will be a project and one project can have multiple process and inside one process we can have multiple tasks yeah that is the typical setup when it comes to business process and tasks perfect so this is the typical setup what we will be having so if i go back again you have a project so let's create a project let's say uh, dummy and i click on create just to getting you used to the environment so that you will know how will it look like and then it launches a, another tab and you can see the url is process automation build yeah, this is the actual build process automation uh, application which it is opening and there you will be able to create a process so first is a project then it gives you a disclaimer to accept the terms and conditions and now you can start creating a process so i can say process one yes my first dummy process and under that process you will be getting a graphical modeler like as i mentioned low code no code environment which you can utilize to start adding a trigger condition first how you want to start your process and then you can add here different types of activities like forms approvals controls automation decision yeah sub process email action variant template and script task so a lot of this stuff is there now if you are aware of sap uh, business workflow which we did uh, a course uh, a year ago it's pretty much similar to that and that is why sap even recommending to avoid using business workflow and directly start using the sap build process uh, builder for all the processes so there is no one click migration also you have to manually build 
the business processes in build process automation if you want to get those old workflow uh, kind of set up here with the new experience with the new environment so that's basically very much graphical i can add you know multiple steps over there one after another so it's like building a business workflow in our classic erp the way we we've we been used to do yes so that we can actually add it you can see we can add multiple components here so we will be doing this this is actually your process uh, builder where you can build a process and once it is done you have to save it and release it that's going to package it and going to upload it into the cloud so on the left side you see this folder structure where you can see your process and you can add multiple uh, stuff inside like adding one more process or guided process form approval all this sort of stuff we will be looking at as part of our training journey as and when we will progress so i will be using this process builder experience to design and develop the business processes so that was a quick overview for all of you to get started with sap build process automation service so that from the next class onwards once we once we launch our system i will be right away starting with that same screen so you should not get confused where is that screen coming from so of course that is that is the screen which is coming from sap build process uh, service and uh, of, of course the builder so with that thank you once again for joining the session today i will see you in the next episode tomorrow at the same time till then happy coding and goodbye